linear relations of the type ax plus by equals to c. Here is question number 9. We are almost coming to the end of this set of 10 questions. Explain how will you determine slope and intercepts from the equation ax plus by equals to c. So we can rearrange and then answer this question. So let's start with rearranging this equation to find slope. So first we will consider slope. So for slope we can write the equation as ax plus by equals to c will isolate y. So we can take away ax from both the sides and then we get by equals to minus ax plus c and dividing by b we get y equals to minus a over b x plus c over b right so if you compare this equation with slope intercept form equation which is y equals to mx plus b what do you find so you conclude that slope m so we conclude that slope m is equals to minus a over b right and what else you also find that b is c over b that is y intercept b is equals to c over b right so these two things we can straight away get by rearranging our equation in slope and intercept form now let's try to individually see how to find intercepts using this equation in fact if you are given an equation in the form ax plus by equals to c to graph this equation best thing is to find intercepts now let's see how to find intercepts and we'll consider both x intercept and y intercept I know we got the result for y intercept. We will check whether it is same or not. Okay. Now, when we say x intercept, it means that y value is 0 here, right? So if I write this equation ax plus by equals to 0 and make y as 0, what happens? If y is 0, then I get ax plus 0. Oh, sorry, this was c ax plus by equals to c and if I write y as 0 what happens the second term becomes 0 right anything times 0 will be 0 so we get ax equals to c and x will be equals to c divided by a and therefore x intercept is c over a right so that is the coordinate for x intercept now Let's try to do and find what is y intercept. To find y intercept, we have to put x equals to 0. So in this equation, which is ax plus by equals to c, if I put x equals to 0, I get 0 plus by equals to c. And dividing by b, we get y equals to c over b. Correct? And therefore, y intercept for us is 0 c over b you see it is same as we got earlier so this method which i have shown you here is the method to find intercepts and once you get intercepts you can plot these two points and join them with a straight line which will represent your equation of the line correct so that is how you get it now let me summarize it. The question here was to find slope and intercepts. When we say intercepts, we mean both x and y intercepts, correct? So there are two intercepts, x and y intercepts. So to find intercepts, to find x intercept, you have to put y zero, or you hide this term. When you hide this term, you get c equals to ax, x equals to c divided by a, correct? To find y-intercept, 
hide the other term. So you got b y equals to c. So y is equals to c divided by b. Correct. So when you hide this term, what do you get? You get b y equals to c. So y is c divided by b. That is the result. So it's so simple. Hide and get the other point. So that is how you get the intercepts, as I have shown you here. And to get the slope, rearrange your equation in y equals to mx plus b form and find the slope. So that is how ax plus by equals to c is related with slope intercept form. And I hope you appreciate this. Now we have one more question to go. We will move on to the slope intercept form itself and explore the linear relations in more details. Thanks and all the best.